Hello again. It's been a cold start to the day and it's going to be a cold day generally. We still have wintry showers in the forecast, but for many of us, it's going to be a dry day with some sunshine, but brisk and gusty winds, especially with exposure and especially so across parts of the south and also the east. Now, high pressure is dominating our weather. You can see low pressure around the Mediterranean and in between we're pulling in this northeasterly wind. So that's a cold direction. Plus, we've got a weather front draped across the southeast and the Channel Islands and that's producing some rain, which will be heavy at times across the Channel Islands. You too could hear the odd rumble of thunder. So a lot of dry weather, a fair bit of sunshine. You can see where we've got the showers. Most of them will be of rain, but on the hills we could see some wintriness. And if you're exposed to that wind, it will feel cold. These are the strength of the gusts of wind that we are expecting. So 30 to 40, maybe 45 miles an hour. So although we've got temperatures of 3 to 6, which are poor for this time of year, it will feel colder than that if you're exposed to the wind. Now, through this evening and overnight, we hang on to this rain in the southeast and the Channel Islands. We'll still have some showers coming in across northern and central parts of the UK, wintry on the hills, but at times we'll see some of that get down to lower levels. And there's the risk of ice with those low temperatures and also some frost. In fact, in the West Highlands, temperatures could fall as low as minus six. So tomorrow, still a lot of dry weather, still a fair bit of sunshine, still gusty winds and still this rain in the southeast and also into the Channel Islands. Some of that could be wintry in nature, particularly on higher ground. And it's the same in Scotland and Northern England, some wintry showers, some of those at lower levels at times in the heavier bursts. But through Tuesday and into Wednesday, high pressure moves away, allowing this area of low pressure with its front to come our way. So basically that means a lot of dry weather, lighter winds, still a few showers across some eastern and southern areas. And then this weather front comes in, bringing in rain and also some snow across the far northwest of Scotland. These are the temperatures, 1 to 6 degrees. And as that weather front sinks southwards during Wednesday night into Thursday, it will bring some farther snow, but it's weakening all the time. And by the time it gets into the southeast, it won't bring much more than some sleet or maybe the odd snow flurry.